standing now in the, in the school building here on this uh, New Directions campus. Not too long from now, we'll be opening uh, what will become Michigan's first recovery high school, focused on academics, but also equally and even more so focused on the recovery needs of kids who are in their high school years, obviously, that are in recovery. They have come from a place where their uh, substance use disorders have led them to uh, leave their original school of origin. They're ready to return, uh, maybe after treatment, and yet we know having them go back to their school of origin uh, is not the best for them. And so uh, a specialty high school uh, is what we're talking about here. We got to this point about starting about a year ago, uh, working with a, uh, a community advisory group uh, who really helped us think about where were the gaps in, in the community around us and, and what assets we might have and expertise we might have at Wellspring that could uh, attempt or uh, build a coalition to address those those gaps. And, and it very quickly became obvious that uh, uh, the lack of a recovery high school in Michigan was a, was a huge gap in, in services. And so uh, because we had the assets in, in terms of this campus and particularly a, uh, uh, an empty school building that has been on this campus for many years uh, and uh, expertise in our substance use disorder work and in our behavioral health division, uh, we decided that uh, we would build a coalition uh, to, to help us do that. A recovery high school is similar to a traditional high school in a lot of ways. Young people are coming here to finish their high school diploma, uh, to graduate, but they're coming to us with um, a unique issue, which is their substance use disorder, their addiction. And so the recovery high school is set up to do a couple things. Um, first and foremost, it helps remove uh, teens that have a problem with substances from their substance abusing peers. And I'm always shocked by um, one of the most startling statistics that I heard from a, a study that was done of youth who came out of residential treatment and returned to their home school to find that almost 100% of those kids on their first day back to their home school were offered drugs or alcohol. So just imagine being a, a teen addict, you go through inpatient treatment, you come back to your school, your old using friends, your old using grounds, and the first thing that happens on your first day back is you get offered the substance that has plagued you uh, for so long. How tough that would be. So being able to create a new environment, a new set of friends, uh, is one of the most powerful tools that a recovery high school has. The second is peer coaching. When you have young people that have lived experience that can help other young people find their way through, um, through their experience to sobriety and recovery, um, that's something that every teen would have is a lived experience, um, specialized peer uh, who is paired with them to provide ongoing coaching. The other thing is a faculty that understands addiction and is able to educate the teenagers not just about the um, biochemical nature of addiction, but the psychosocial nature of addiction and how to change their behavior and ways of living uh, to be able to find sobriety um, and recovery. The other thing kids will have as part of Recovery High School is regular drug testing. Uh, and when they come to us voluntarily, uh, they actually sign up and agree to being drug tested on a regular basis. Um, so they're being held accountable for uh, working towards sobriety. And then finally, having on-site support groups, therapy, and counselors that actually understand addiction and can help the youth through their process uh, and intervene if there happens to be a relapse or other struggles at home. Um, is, a, is a critical aspect of the recovery high school, as is educating parents and the family about signs to watch for and how to support their young person in recovery. Ultimately, the goal is for youth to graduate as whole people, as healthy people, so they can move on to the next phase of their life.